Hello and welcome. This is video is one of three in a tutorial series in order for users on the internet who are using a VPN client attached to a second router running DDWRT. Um, this is video is set up because there seems to be a lot of questions on the internet about how to do certain things and this is hopefully in order to address some of those questions. This video is really set up for a lay person as, as opposed to an expert so the, t the descriptions aren't too technical and therefore should be easy to follow. Well, f the first video of the series is to talking about how to connect two routers, one of them running the open, uh, an open VPN account uh, and running DDWRT. The second video is talking about how to bypass the VPN on a selected machine connected to the VPN network and video 3 is talking about how to bypass the VPN on a selected uh, websites so that means if you wish to choose go to YouTube and you don't want to use the VPN then this is the uh, tutorial for you all three videos can be watched independently of each other and all three videos are set up assuming that you have successfully set up your VPN client attached to a router running DDWRT this is video two of the three and this is talking about how to bypass the open VPN on selected machines connected to your router running the VPN so very quickly we'll run through what the contents of this video is going to be we're going to show a layout of the network system in question how you get the IP addresses of the machines on your system how you bypass the VPN on the selected machine attached to a router running DDWRT and the VPN client how you uh, can the most problem the most likely causes of problems you're having through troubleshooting and where you can find some additional information so my setup is as follows we have router 1 connected to the internet via a modem computer 1 is attached to uh, router 1 and then we have hard disk 2 computer 2 and a smart TV attached to a router 2 running DDWRT using OpenVPN. So physically connections then the computer 1 is attached to the Ethernet connection of router 1 and computer 2, smart, the smart TV and the hard disk t uh, are also attached to the Ethernet connection of router 2 and the interconnect connection of router 2 is connected to the, to the Ethernet connection of router 1. This is personally the only way I've found to be able to connect the uh, router 2 to router 1 and keep the the um, VPN client running. Okay, in my situation I know that the router 1 is called 192.168.1.1 and router 2 is called 192.168.2.1 and I also know the names of the, all the other computers on the system as shown on the screen at the moment. If you don't know what your machine's names are, then you need to go to the control panel, click on a network and sharing center, or it'll be something very similar in older versions of Windows, and click on see full map. So once you get to this point, if you put your mouse above a specific item, in this case Windows uh, so, uh, WD TV Live, you can see the IP address of that item. So in this case, you can see that the WD TV Live is at the address is 192.168.21.116. Equally, if you put the mouse above the gateway, it would tell you that the gateway address in my case is 192.168.2.1. Right, so we need to go to the web interface for. Um, router 2 and you do that by just typing in the router 2's address in this case 192.168.2.1 we then need to back up the system just in case that something goes wrong and then before you can come back to it later you click on administration click on backup and then the bottom button in the middle of the screen you click on the backup button save the file somewhere safe and if you need to restore it then instead you come back to this tab administration backup and click restore Okay, another way to find out the IP addresses of the machines attached to your router is by going to the status tab and click on LAN. The same deal for wireless if you're connecting to your machines via Wi-Fi. Um, what, this is not as easy to understand which machines are or what, but it's, an, it's also a useful place to know 
where the names of the IP addresses of your machines are. So the next step is to go to the administrations tab, go to the commands tab on router 2. So at this point we're going to put in a command into the commands text box and we're going to put in IP rule list and then we're going to hit the run commands button. This will return a table and this table is one of the tables we're going to modify in order to uh, bypass the VPN on the selected machine. So you might wish to take a snapshot of this on your machine in order to show that you have modified it. The next thing we're going to do is type in an NV RAM get WAN underscore gateway and then we're going to hit run commands. So this should return a the name of router 1. I know that router 1 is called on my setup was 192.168.1.1 but this confirms it. Okay, so now what we're going to do is either edit the firewall if you've already completed the uh, video one of the series or if you haven't, it doesn't matter, you're going to type this directly into the commands uh, text box. And we're going to put the following into the commands text box. So we're going to put in IP route add default via 192.168.1.1 table 10 which is saying that the default gateway is via router 1 which if we just looked at the WAN gateway address there and that information is going to be stored in table 10. The second command says IP rule add from 192.168.2.122 table 10. So this is saying that the machine I wish to bypass VPN on is 192.168.2.122 and then with that line you need to look up table 10. So that means that 192.168.2.122 goes through to the router 1 which is 192.168.1.1 if you want to add additional machines then this is the point you add it so you can put an IP rule add from 192.168.2. whatever number your machine you wish to bypass you must then click the save firewall and go to the administrations tab hit um, the management tab and click reboot router a few minutes later once the VPNs are up and running again, if you put in the following command into the commands text box, IP route show table 10, it should show you the contents of table 10. Hit the run commands button. So this is showing now the, the contents of table 10. Default via 192.168.1.1 DEV VLAN 2. So that's saying that table 10 is telling you to go via 192.168.1.1. Okay, next we're going to put in the following command, the IP rule list, and hit the run commands button. This should then return a modified table. If you, as you can see there, in this case, from 192.168.2.122 lookup 10, it's saying when a machine called 192.168.2.122 is trying to do something on router 2, then look up the rule number 10. Rule number 10 says go via router 1, which is 192.168.1.1. So that is it. That means now that any machine, in this case 192.168.2.122, will not use the VP OpenVPN client to access the internet, just router 1 to access the internet. If you're not seeing this and you, you, um, you basically see the same information you had before when you did this originally then then there's a problem I had that problem myself um, I tried updating my uh, DDWRT software up to a newer version a newer version a newer version and unfortunately it never resolved the problem I ended up going back to a much older build in this case I went back to build 18687 the way I achieved that was by going to the administration tab, go to the firmware upgrade tab. I then downloaded from, in my case, uh, the Cisco website because I have a Cisco router and downloaded the latest firmware for Cisco. I then clicked on the browse button. I found that Cisco router data file. I clicked, clicked on upgrade. This reinstalled the original factory fit software on my machine. 
I then had to follow the instructions as provided by my VPN supplier to reflash DDD, DD, WRT back onto my router. That then meant I could actually choose what version of DDWRT I could use, and I used the oldest version that was available, and that worked. That allowed me to modify the tables. So if you're successfully modifying tables, but you would like to try to do some other things, some useful commands that you can type into the commands text box are shown on screen. I'll also put them up below the uh, video so that you can copy and paste them in and try them out. Okay, so what we've basically done here is called policy-based routing. If you wish to see some further information on policy-based routing, then go to the DDWRT website as shown on the screen there. I hope this was informative for you and um, I hope that you watch the other two of the three videos in the collection. Thank you.